welcome back to my channel if you're new around here my name is Jodie and I create beauty related content here on this channel so if that is something that you are interested in make sure that you are subscribed and click the bell so you're notified every single time that I upload and without further ado shall we get into what this video is if you couldn't tell already from the title today we are going to be testing out a couple of new products but the main one being the new revolution ultimate eye base so this is what it looks like and we're going to be putting this to the test against the P. Louise base. Now if you are a regular viewer of my channel you will know that in all of my eyeshadow review videos and testing videos I always use the P. Louise base but when I saw that Revolution were coming out with a brand new one I had to pick it up and see if it was worth the hype. So if that is something that you're interested in, make sure that you carry on watching this video and let's get straight into the video. Today's video is an exciting one. Like I said, we are going to be testing out the new Revolution base. So this base is £5, whereas the P. Louise one is £10. This one says it is a smooth and creamy eyeshadow primer that prepares the eye area for all shadow looks. This base is also cruelty free and vegan i don't know if this one is so i've had a little look online about whether p louise base is cruelty free and vegan i believe it's a brand and this product in particular it is cruelty free but i think there's uncertainty about but i don't think they are vegan also i think they are just cruelty free so if you are someone who's vegan who has wanted to try this you can try this one so this one comes in three different shades I think there was just like light, medium, dark. I got light. This one comes in a lot of other different shades. Um, for reference, I have the P. Louise base in Rumour 01. So I've got this one in light. So let's open it up. So this is what it looks like out of the box. You get 15 millilitres of product in this one. And you also get 15 in the P. Louise as well so for the same amount you can get this revolution one for half the price but you get the same amount in each so i am gonna like swatch them on my hand just to like show you the difference so this one is the P. Louise one and this one is the revolution one so color wise they are pretty much the same i want to say I think they're pretty much the same colour. So if you get light in the Revolution one, it's pretty much the same as 01 in the P. Louise. Um, from first glance, the Revolution one seems thicker. But that's just first glance. So let's zoom you guys in and then we can get started on the eye situation. Okay, so... In a little bit more so for today's eyeshadow palette by the way it's also going to be like a semi review on that as well um i'm going to be using the roxy roxasaurus ride or die palette i bought this the same time i bought the revolution base because they were on offer for five pound i bought both of her palettes and i've never tried them so i thought it would be a good opportunity to try out a new palette at the same time well a new palette to me and for anybody that's never seen the Roxy palette, this is what this one looks like. It's a very neutral palette, so I'm probably going to go quite, maybe quite neutrally. I'm thinking quite red. I'm going to do P. Louise on this side and Revolution on this side. So I'm going to put the P. Louise one on first, just because I know how that one works. Um, also, as a reference, I'm also going to be using Morphe brushes for this video. You guys can see my new sign up here, look it's like a little light box it does light up i just haven't lit it up for today um but yeah i can't really have it in the background of my videos because my lens blurs the background out but yeah i thought i'd pop it there anyway so i'm gonna pop some of this on so i'm using my normal brush for this which i normally use the morphe 224 brush um to blend out my p louise and i kind of do a mixture of like tapping and wiping but I mainly tap this product in okay so I don't have the identical brush that I used 
for this eye but for the revolution side i'm going to take the morphe m11 no i'm going to be taking the morphe m166 brush which just is another like flat quite thick oh my god my camera today like quite thick brush so let's just put a bit of this onto the eyelid about that much a little oh my god the coverage on this is insane okay i put way too much on but that's okay um so first things first the coverage i'm just gonna like zoom you guys out again the coverage on the revolution side is insane what i'm gonna do is to take a sponge and kind of pat over the top mainly around the edges because i've already done my makeup i wouldn't probably wouldn't do this if i hadn't already done my makeup but like i pre-did my makeup for this video so yeah so these are how the two sides are looking now i'm not gonna lie the p louise one has creased it always creases on me um now that i've done the sponge over the revolution one that's also creasing but there we go yeah the you can see where my eye creases that um it's creased on the p louise side i think it's going to do the same on the revolution side which it, it just happens to me i've got very like creasy eyes like underneath and on my lid it's just one of those things i deal with while they are both still wet let's go in and do the shadow so for both sides i'm going to take the morphe 139 which is one of my favorite brushes from morphe um and it's like really cheap i think it's like three pound fifty it's a great brush okay i think i'm going to take the shade Aerial from this palette, which is gorgeous red, and I'm gonna go in with this side first, which is the P. Louise side. I'm gonna take a clean one and go in with the shade Aerial on the Revolution side. Wow, I feel like it is way more pigmented on this side maybe it's because it, it looks a bit whiter than the p louise one like on my hand they look the same color but now i'm looking at them the revolution one looks way way brighter this palette's lovely as well that red is so pigmented from first impressions they pretty much look the same I'm going to say that the Revolution one has took the colour a bit better. Not even the colour, just like, it just looks a bit nicer on the Revolution side, I think. Um, I think it looks bolder. Okay, next I'm going to take the Morphe M506. And if you're wondering why this one is a white handle, it's exactly the same brush. Um, but it is the Jaclyn Hill JH40. So they are exactly the same um i'm pretty sure they seem exactly the same and again it's it's another one of my favorite brushes i'm not quite sure how much this one is i can't imagine it being too much and i'm going to take the shade gingerbread because there's not too many dark shades in this palette and i don't really want to go in with cola because it's kind of gray so we're going to go in with gingerbread and i just want to darken out the outer corner Okay. I'm going to keep going back in with my Morph my first Morphe brush as well just to help it out. There has been some fallout. Okay, let's try it on the this this shade is very fallout. Like this kick up in my palm, which is fine. I'm going to use it on this side. So I'm going to take the shade Cranberry, which is this gorgeous, glittery look. It's like that squishy type of formula again. This is the Jaclyn Hill JH41 and it's just 
a very big like cut crease kind of brush um i'm gonna cut my crease for the purpose of this video i don't normally but i want to see how well it will cut over the top of what we already have on normally from p louise i use blank canvas for this um but i will use p louise base today just because i'm gonna be using this one and i don't want to add like another product in when i don't have to also I did not do a very good job of blending on this eye because it's basically gone underneath my eye already. Yeah, I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put some in the back of my hand. I'm not taking a lot. And I'm gonna take this brush from Morphe. This is the 213. What I like to do is kind of like pat it on the back of my hand so I have some on my brush um but not too much and then go in so I think I should have brought this red up a bit higher because I have hooded up slightly hooded eyes and my cut creases end up huge normally okay so my verdict is quite good for cut creases because it's quite thick like the consistency of the revolution one is a lot thicker than the consistency of the p louise one and i think that means it will make a better kind of cut crease than what p louise's one does just taking a tiny bit more just to see if i can drown out the red so there we go there's one cut crease i'm going to take it on the same brush i've just like wiped it off and again i'm just like patting it before I go in I'm going to take the kind of cranberry shade and put it on like the outer bit of this and then I'm going to take Young Moss which is this shade right here or I might take Unicorn and put that on the inner bit of like the inner third this is going to be Fallout Central as well so it's picking up the product again very well. Let's do the P. Louise side. So that's gone on really well. What I am going to do is I'm going to take that initial red shade and I'm just going to buff it a bit do on the P. Louise side. Okay, it's not, not clinging as well, I don't think. Okay, I'm going to pop off the camera, I'm going to put on my lashes and things, and then we'll come back and do my the rest of the eye, and then we will chat about a few bits and pieces. Okay, I decided for today's video that I wasn't going to put lashes on, so I just used the collection Lash Surge Mascara, um, and we're going to do my under eyes now. So, like for most of this video, I'm going to take that first shade Ariel again and I'm just going to pop that under the eye and then I'm going to take the shade Unicorn which is this one on a Morphe M508 brush and I'm going to pop that in my inner corner because it's got like a bit of a pink reflect so I thought it would tie in with the red really really well like so oh and just my brow bone as well okay let's zoom you guys out and let's talk about the palette and the eye bases so i'm going to quickly go over the palette first um this is originally 10 pound it's currently on sale on revolution for five pound um this is just the overlook of the whole palette for you guys again I think personally this palette is really nice it's definitely pigmented the shadows are beautiful i think pretty much i think the shades cranberry yes and shook are like that squishy kind of formula i don't know the real technical name for it um i think overall it is a nice palette however i think for me personally it could have done with a few darker outer corner shades um you've got like two really cool toned ones but like it could do with a warmer color because this one although it is um quite warm it's not the darkest of browns that could have been put in here 
Um, I think you could have switched out Firework, which is this shade for another darker, warmer brown. But um, other than that, I can't really fault it. It seemed to work really, really well. Definitely worth the £5 price tag at the moment. Um, this one is also, what does it say on here? Cruelty free. Yeah, if you're looking for a new cruelty free palette, definitely think about picking up the Ride Old Eye palette from Revolution. So let's talk about the eye bases. I think I need to play around with it more. Um, I personally prefer the Revolution side over the P. Louise side for the main reason of when you look at the Revolution side, it seems a lot more blended. Um, it seems more pigmented. And I just think when you look, I just think overall it looks brighter, brighter on this side. I don't know if it's because it's a little bit lighter when, when applied to the eye, but I just think overall it looks better than my left. Um, I didn't have any trouble with it creasing. I thought it would crease and I purposely did the cut crease on my right side first to test out whether it would crease while I did my left side. It didn't crease. Um, there's no crease in there and that pigment applied so well over the top of it. It's definitely very good for cut creases. Um, I think as an eye base it's really good as well. I didn't really have fault with it at all. It blended lovely over the top of it. I'm just looking at this way by the way because my mirror is there so I'm just like looking at the difference between the two as I'm talking to you guys. So sorry if that's distracting. I think for the £5 price tag, this is so worth it. And if you've been wanting to try the P. Louise one, I would maybe try the Revolution one first because it's half the price. And I think personally, it did a better job. And I love my P. Louise one. Like, I have a whole thing full of P. Louise paints here. I think I prefer the Revolution formula for their like normal base. I just think it looks better. I don't know if it would have been another story if you, you know this eye never really goes as well as this eye but I don't think it has anything to do with that today. I just genuinely think that the Revolution one it seems a little bit better and it's five pound. That is my verdict. My verdict is it gets a big thumbs up from me. I think this is so good. Like, my eye looks so bright. And I just think, overall, it just looks better than the P. Louise side. I'm so sorry about that. I mean, neither of them, it doesn't look particularly that bad. But I just think that the right side looks brighter. And, and I just prefer it. So, I would 100% go out and buy this if I was you. Go and give it a try. See what you think. It is a little bit more on the um, thicker side, but especially for cut creases, it seems to be better for that. Um, whereas this one's, but it's just a little bit more like oily. If you guys did enjoy today's video, please make sure that you give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to go comment down below. Have you tried the new Revolution base? Do you like the P. Louise base? Some people don't. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you want to see more content from me. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you in my next one. Bye!